There was once an old lady Zulfi. Zulfi amma would distribute a lot of sweets and chickies to children, especially chickies. She would break the chickie into equal pieces and she would share with all the children. There was a child called Amina. She would always get these chickies. And she would always go home and tell her mother about how Zulfi amma would share these chickies with her and all of the other kids. Amina would go home and show her mother the chickie she got. Every day Amina's mother would ask how much chiki she got. She would say, I got one chiki. So every day I got one chiki, another chiki, one more chiki, and it went on like that. So Amina's mother wondered that every day how come uh, Zulfi Amma would get different sized chikis? So Amina would explain, no mom, actually Zulfi Amma would break one big chiki into equal pieces and she would give one piece to Amina. So then her mother said that why would Amina say she got one chikki every day? Amina should be able to explain that she got some part of the whole chikki, right? So Amina's mother said that you can't say you got one chikki because one chikki is this. She said you got different parts of that one chikki. So we must be able to explain these parts in relation to the whole chikki. So Amina's mother tells Amina that let's say this is our whole chikki. And Zulfi Amma broke the chikki into four equal parts and she got one. So this is how the chikki would look like. It's broken down into four equal parts. It's very important that the parts are equal. And from that, the blue shaded part is what Amina got. So Amina says, isn't this one chikki? So no, says Amina's mother. She says, first, let's understand that there are four equal parts. So she said that she'll write down four equal parts. And she says that from the four equal parts, Amina gets one part. So then we will write like this. We will put a bar and we put this one on top of it. We call it one fourth. Amina says that, but these are two numbers. Her mother says, well, yes, first we need to know how many parts, equal parts, the chikki has been cut into or anything that has been cut into, which is four. And from that, the shaded part is what Amina got. So that's one. So it's easy to understand that one fourth means there is one whole chikki cut into four parts. One is one piece from that or one part is what Amina got. So I can write one fourth here. This is one out of four. All of these are one fourths. But I can say that this part here is actually two fourths because there are two one fourth pieces. That one piece is called one fourth. So two of them will be two fourths and three of them will be three fourths. Now let's imagine one whole chikki again and that is cut into two parts from the center. One of that part is actually one half. So how do we write that? As a fraction, it's called a fraction. Fraction means a part of the whole, equal part of the whole. So how many parts? is the entire whole, whole chikki 2. And out of that, if the blue shaded one is 1, so we write 1 by 2. It's called 1 half. So let's say I have one whole chikki again and I cut it into three parts and these three parts are equal and I get one of them. I will say I got one third of the chikki, which means I cut it into three parts and I get one, which is what we did. So how do we write that? So how many parts did we cut the chikki into? That's three parts. And how many we got? One. So Amina's mother wants to test Amina. She says, now let's say you have one whole chikki and Zulfi Amma would break it into eight equal parts. And out of that, you got three parts. How would you write it? Amina says, I know, that's very easy. She said, I would write eight. From the eight parts, I get three parts. Amina's mother shouts. She's like, Amina, I told you something. You don't have to write eight by three. The total parts that we have divided the chikki into, the equal part, should be written at the bottom, which is 8. And out of that, Amina, you got 3. So it will it'll be 3 eighths. So this is actually 1 by 8, 1 by 8, and 1 by 8. Therefore, this is 1 by 8, this is 1 by 8, and this is 1 by 8. Therefore, we write 3 eighths. That's how we are supposed to write. Amina's mother says, how about this? Amina says, very simple, mom. I count the total parts. It's 12 parts. Therefore, I will write 12 now. That's very easy. I can see that I got four parts, which are the blue shaded parts. Therefore, no, I think I got five. One minute, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, five parts. So she said, I would write five by 12. So now Amina's mother is very happy. So these are called five twelfths, she explains to Amina. And she says, okay, Amina, now you know fractions. 
And next time when you get parts of a whole, you have to be able to explain using fractions. You have to be able to write them using fractions and say them like three fourths, five twelfths, and let's say one half. So let's quickly revise how do we name these fractions. There's a unique way. Now, first of all, the total number of pieces we break the entire whole into let's say it's four or three or five will be called like four will be called a fourth three will be called a third two will be called a half five will be called fifth there will always be other than a few numbers at the end of that number there will be a th so like eighth th at the end then fourth th at the end twelfth th at the end so now that we know that each of that part or this one thing here is a twelfth twelfth th at the end so how do we then name the entire fraction the entire total parts that we get. So let's say this is the fourth, we get one of them, fourth is this, therefore we write one fourth. So then this is half, we got one of the half. The entire thing was a half here. And this was a third, one of the third, third means this one and one of the third. Okay, and eight means actually this is an eighth, this one piece here. And how many such pieces did we get? So we got three eighths, three eighths. And 12 means this one small piece here, 12 equal parts, one of them is a 12th. And how many 12ths? We got 5. So we say we got 5 12ths. And of course, you know how to write all of these using the using two numbers, one at the top, one at the bottom, and bar in the center. So let's quickly summarize what we learned from Amina's story. This is one whole. We have learned numbers where it could be 2, 3, 4 and more than this. But there are times when we have to divide things into smaller and smaller pieces. That's when we use fractions. So let's say if I had to cut this into 10 equal parts and I give you all of the 10 parts, you would still say you got one whole chicky. But if I cut it into 10 parts and give you three of them, then you can't say you got three chickies or three pieces. You first need to tell me that there were 10 equal parts. 10 equal parts into which the chicky was cut. And then you can tell me that out of those 10 equal parts, you got three of them or three of those pieces. So you can say three out of 10 is what you got. Or you can say you got three tenths of the chicky. So this was fractions. We'll explore them further in the coming videos.